Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for y'all, and this week we're doing something a bit different because we're not using one of my normal two-page Hobonichi Cousin kits. We're actually going to be using the St. Patrick's Day themed kit from the 12-month Hobonichi Cousin bundle available in my shop. This is a bundle of 12 one-page kits that are themed around various holidays and seasons. There's also a birthday one. This one is obviously the St. Patrick's Day one. To go along with this, I have some St. Patrick's Day washi tapes. These are all from Hobby Lobby, and a couple of them do have some gold foiling. And then for my pens, I have my normal Twisby Eco, along with an Old Faithful Pilot G2 pen. This one is 05 point, if you can see that. <laughs> if you've been watching me for a while, then you know that this pen is my old standby. I exclusively used Pilot G2s in high school and college, and it wasn't until I got into the planner community that I branched out in my pen buying, but this is still, this is still one of my old favorite pens, and I feel like I always go back to it. So we don't have as many stickers to work with this week, but I'm okay with that. I think it'll be fun to switch it up. We can jump right in and start putting down some sidebar stuff. I want to use this really adorable cake on the sidebar. I actually got a small set of cake pans, like six, in six inch cake pans for Christmas last year, but I have not, okay, I've used it once but it was to make a one layer cake. I really want to use it to make a tall, small cake like this. I think it would be so cute. I'm gonna put the second box over here on Sunday just to balance things out. And I'm definitely gonna put some washi at the top because we don't have date covers this week. So this will add some color up here. I thought about highlighting the date covers like I sometimes do in my Traveler's Notebook videos, but I don't have a green that is the exact color. All the green mild liners I have are more of a ultra bright neon green or like really bright lime green. I don't think that would match super well. Okay, now we'll do the bottom strips. I'm excited to plan this week because I had a really fun weekend. Since the weather has finally turned a little bit warmish, it's still not as warm as usual, but it's out of the freezing temperatures. I've been able to go out and do a lot more stuff outside on the weekends and stuff. It's been really nice. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to put down for the base of the spread is the weekend banner. just like that. And now we'll do our sidebar. As usual, I'm going to start by putting down my Bible verse for the week, and I totally forgot to mention, but I will link this planner, the pens I use, and all the shops I mentioned in the description bar below in case you want to know where anything is from. So my verse for this week was John 14 and verse 6. Okay, and as usual, under that, I'm going to mark my Bible studies for the week. So I started off on Monday in the book of Luke. And we're definitely going to have some extra space there at the bottom. So I think I'm going to take one of these washi tapes and fill it in. This one would probably fit the best, but it's not my favorite. I kind of want to use this pairing and put down one of each of those. So let's try that. Thank you. 
All right, there we go. I think that looks really cute. And that's about all we can do for the base of the spread. So let me zoom you in and we'll get started planning the week. All right, so on Monday, the first thing I did was go to the gym. I'm gonna mark that. I'm really impressed with myself that I've been able to keep up going to the gym. I thought I would kind of get tired of it or bored with it, but I've really been looking forward to it actually, which is super nice. Hopefully I can keep it up for a long time. So to mark going to the gym, I think I'm going to use a shoe sticker from my shop. Put that down right there. This week is going to be a great time to use up a lot of green stickers in my collection. And y'all know I like to read on my Kindle app while I'm at the gym. This day I started a new book. It was called The Lighthouse Cafe. So I'm going to mark that with a reading sticker. I think I'll use this one from the Prairie Planner. Now we can start marking work stuff. So I needed to do a good bit of designing on this day. So I think I'm gonna put down a half box for that. And then maybe a washi strip underneath it just to denote the length of time. I think I'm gonna use this one with the shamrocks on it. Let me grab my scissors. Okay, I don't need a super long flag because I do have a few other things to mark on this day. All right, there we go. So for designing, um, I think I'm going to use a laptop Winston. I've been using that the last couple weeks. It looks really cute. I love it. Let's go with this darker, dark-ish green one. This was the day I was working on designing the new clear fruit stickers that went live in the shop recently. also needed to edit my latest reading vlog. That is already up on my channel if you want to check it out. I'm actually going to put down, I think, a couple of dot stickers to mark the next few things I did at work because along with editing that vlog, I filled orders. Then I wanted to make an Instagram post. So let's grab a phone sticker. I'm gonna use this one from a shop that is no longer open.
I also wanted to go to the post office this day, and we did, in addition to dropping off orders, or I, I should say, we also got some happy mail, so let's see how we can mark that. Do I have any green happy mail stickers? If I do, they're not coming to mind right off the bat. I do have these from Fox and Cactus that kind of match, but the yellow is a little bit too bright. So I think I'm just going to use a package Winston and maybe put it on a label. This green scallop label, maybe. And while I was out, I also wanted to go by Walmart. I'm going to mark that with this little tiny sticker from PND Stickers. And the last thing I want to mark is that I had a very early night this night. I was feeling pretty tired for some reason. So let's see what kind of early night stickers we might have in our collection. I'm just going to use this green Winston. Okay, over to Tuesday. So I actually went to the gym on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and mark it all at once. And I'm probably going to use the same sticker that I did on Monday just to make it easier and also because I don't have a lot of green workout stickers so or actually I will use a yellow one on Tuesday and then I'll use another green one on Wednesday so that will take care of that When I got back from the gym, the first thing I wanted to do was back up my files because I had not done that in a while and I like to do it once a week or so or at least once a week whenever I'm designing new stuff. I feel like for some reason my handwriting looks really good today. I don't know why, because this is the same pen I use every week, but I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it. Okay, I spent most of this day printing and cutting stickers. I don't want to put down a half box because I have one right next door, so we'll just go without on this day. Now, green work stickers is something I don't really have a lot of, so I'm going to put down this little scene sticker instead and just right beneath that. Okay, that's straight enough. I don't want to 
pull it up anymore because I don't want it to pull up my page. We could probably squeeze in another flag on this day because I do like incorporating washi tapes when I can. So let's give that a try. out quite as much because it is on a white or sort of transparent white background but I still like how it looks okay the next thing I'm gonna mark I think is that I did some writing let me get a pencil sticker Actually, I'm going to use this ink sticker from the Fountain Pen Winston sheet because it's green and it matches really well. Next, I went for a walk. walk I'm gonna put down this sticker from Fox and Pip a little trail sticker it's really cute Next, I want to mark that Ashley made this super delicious Greek chicken dish for dinner. It was so yummy. I can't wait for her to make it again. She's been trying out a bunch of new recipes lately, and I am more than happy to be her guinea pig. She pretty much never makes anything that's bad. So I'm going to mark that with the little eating Winston. And then I think I am going to, okay, I want to put down some sort of label. I feel like it should be yellow. Put that right there. And I just finished the night by watching some YouTube videos. So let me see if I can stack a YouTube sticker on top of this. I don't want it to be too crowded though. Actually have more room than I thought so I'm probably gonna sort of stagger my writing go that worked out pretty well now we can go to Wednesday 
So I can go ahead and fill in my trip to the gym. And then on my way back from the gym, I stopped and checked the mail. And I had some happy mail from a friend, which I was very, very excited to get. I definitely need to mark that. Should I use an excited sticker or a package sticker? Or maybe I should combine both. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna use this. This very adorable Happy Mail sticker that I save for extremely special occasions. And I'm gonna put this, should I put it on a half box or a scallop label? Which one is more exciting? I think I'm gonna use the half box. And stack that Happy Meal sticker right on top. Okay, then I did listings work for the majority of the day, which is not really exciting, but it's super necessary because I was doing new releases this week. So I'm going to write that down and just mark it with this little dot just to show that I did it. After that, I wanted to do some more writing, so I'm going to get another little pencil sticker. And this time I will use an actual pencil because I have a lot of green ones. And that's from my shop. And then I needed to go to Aldi to get some road trip snacks because we were taking a little road trip on the weekend. So I'm going to get another grocery sticker. What do y'all bring for road trip snacks? Because I know some people have like very specific things they like to bring. Ours are pretty boring. I like to have dried fruit and beef jerky usually. And sometimes I'll get my favorite little Bobo's Oat Bites, but those are more of a treat, honestly. So those are more like for really big road trips. Okay, then after all the, oh, on this day, Ashley brought me home Jersey Mike's, which was nice. And I'm going to mark that with this sub sticker. I might put this on a label. I feel like we need some color in this section of the planner. So I'm going to use this darker green label. What is next? I had to do quite a bit of cleaning this day. Should I do a checklist or mark things individually? Okay, I had to clean the kitchen and I want to use my cute Happy Day a cleaning sticker for that because I pretty much never get to use it because it doesn't match a lot of spreads, but it should match this one. So let me find it. Oh, 
there it is. Yeah, it matches this spread pretty well. I also did some laundry and vacuuming. So I think for that, I might combine those and just put down this green cleaning Winston. And at the end of the night, I just did some reading. So we'll grab some reading stickers. I think I want to use this really cute snuggly reading Winston. And I'll pair that with a script if I can find them over there. At the very back, hiding, this is one of our new reading scripts on the clear paper. All right, and that is going to take care of Wednesday. So we will head over to Thursday. So on Thursday morning, I was really excited to see that some of our plants that we planted for our balcony garden were starting to sprout. On this day, it was the radishes. So I'm going to grab my gardening stickers. Right here. And of course I have to use the little sprout to mark that. I think I'm going to put this on a sticker or on a label as well. I use the green scallop. Yeah, I was really happy to see the sprouts because I'm not very good with plants. So I was kind of surprised they lived, but I'm very happy about it. Alright, this is a pretty busy day, so I kind of need to be conscious of how I lay down my stickers. The next thing I want to mark is that I filmed a video. So I think for that I'm going to use a camera sticker off the camera Winston sheet. And of course, after I filmed that video, I needed to edit and upload it. I also had some other tasks for work I needed to do this day. So I think I'm going to actually make a little sort of checklist using another one of the Winston. Or, you know, no, I'm not. I'm not going to use a Winston to make a checklist. I'm just going to put down this laptop sticker. right there, and then I'll make the checklist beneath it. So I needed to edit and upload that video. As well as fill orders. And then do all the preparation work for the sale, so like graph graphic, coupon code, listings, newsletter. Okay, there is work stuff marked. 
the next thing I wanted to do was write my packing list because we were going on a little trip over the weekend and I always like to write a physical packing list. It just helps me remember everything. So for that, I think I'm going to put down maybe just a dot sticker because it wasn't a huge thing, but I do want to mark it. I'm going to use another one of the yellow dots. Okay, then I needed to clean my bathroom, and while I was doing that, I started listening to an audiobook, which I don't normally like audiobooks because I struggle so hard to find a narrator whose voice I like. Or liking isn't always the problem because sometimes I like the voice a lot, but I also find it very relaxing and it kind of puts me to sleep, so that's not great because then I'm not focusing on the audiobook and I have to keep replaying stuff to, to figure out what is happening. But I finally found an audiobook that I really liked the voice for, and what's so funny is that this was an Agatha Christie audiobook. The book was called Crooked House. And I am not a huge Agatha Christie fan. I'm gonna put down this cleaning bathroom sticker, which is also from Happy Day. But this book, I think it has to be one of her best books. At least out of the ones I've read, I've probably read like maybe a dozen Agatha Christie's and I've never been that huge of a fan of them. So I've read, um, let me see, I've read Murder in Three Acts, I've read The Clocks, which I absolutely detested that book. I've read Murder on the Orient Express and Then There Were None. I've read Hercule Poirot's Christmas. I can't remember any more off the top of my head right now, but I've read several and never really been impressed by them. So I didn't really expect to like this one that much. I'm looking for a headphones sticker, but I don't have one printed and cut for myself right now. So I'm just gonna use a book sticker to mark listening to this. But this Agatha Christie, I liked a lot more for a couple reasons. The first one is that it's self-contained because in some of them, like by the pricking of my thumbs, which is another one I've read of hers, the essentially anyone in the whole world could be a suspect and that's not really helpful when you're trying to figure out who done it, you know? So I prefer ones like Crooked House where people are, it's a limited cast of characters and you get to kind of pick and choose and guess from that group of people. And then this book had a really, in my opinion, different vibe than a lot of Christie's books. It had a very, it was kind of like a psychological thriller vibe in a creepy way, which I don't normally read those types of books either, but for some reason I just really liked this book. So if you're into Agatha Christie or mystery books, I think you would like that one. I cannot remember the narrator's name right now, but I'm going to try and find more books narrated by him. After I did my cleaning, I did go for another walk. I also had to pack my bags and I started a new book in the evening. So, do I want to mark all of that? Yeah, I probably do. Okay, for the walk, I'm going to use a sunshine sticker because it was such a nice day. This is from my shop. Well, it's not really in my shop. I just custom made it for myself. Next, I needed to pack my bags. I'm 
mark that with this cute little suitcase sticker, which is from Carly Plans. And then before I mark starting my new book, I do want to put that on a label just to make it stand out a bit more. And I think I'm going to use this dark one. Right there. All right, let's grab a book sticker, one I have not used yet. very many small book stickers unfortunately so we might kind of have to squeeze or actually I'll use this tiny glasses Winston wrong pen. Now we go to Friday. So I only worked a part day on Friday because we were going on a trip. So we left around noon to drive up to Virginia. I'll talk about that more in a minute. But in the morning, I did film a plan with me, or you know what? I kind of want to mark this day from the bottom up to make sure I get the fun stuff at the bottom. So let's do that. So the Airbnb we stayed in, which was super cute, by the way, it had a TV and a game console and all kinds of stuff that we don't have at home. So we took advantage of that. And in the evening, both nights we were there, we watched movies. So on Friday night, we watched Zootopia, which is actually one of my favorite movies. Even if it is a kid's movie, I think it's super cute. So I'm gonna mark that with this popcorn Winston from my shop. I think I'm gonna move that up a little bit. Yep. I'm going to have to move that again because I did not properly space my writing. Okay, and above that... Our Airbnb, the lady that was running it, she actually left us a bunch of different food and candy and snacks, including a frozen pizza, which we enjoyed for dinner. Yeah, I really like this Airbnb. The I never stayed in this, this one before, but the area was really good, really quiet neighborhood, and you had the whole place to yourself. It was just really well set up. The space was used super well. I'm gonna mark the pizza with a pizza Winston, of course. And then I do want to mark that the Airbnb was just so cute because I feel like when you go on vacation, half of the fun is where you stay, or maybe it's just me. Because my family and I really do like trying to find unique places to stay, either Airbnbs or small local bed and breakfasts, stuff like that. It just really adds a different element of charm to the vacation. So for the cute Airbnb, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to put this on a label too. I'm going to grab this green one. And put down a Winston. Up 
above that, I'm going to mark our drive to Virginia. We actually were, we were staying in Newport News, but we were driving to Virginia to go to an event at Jamestown Settlement. We just, we booked this trip like two weeks before it actually happened and the event was huge. So all of the lodging in Jamestown was taken up. So we had to stay in Newport News, which was about 45 minutes from Jamestown, but not a bad drive. So as usual, when I have a road trip, I like to mark it with this road washi that I got from Michael's a very long time ago. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to stack this right there and then grab a car sticker. this yellow one from Happy Day Up. And then above that, before we left, I needed to do my final packing and cleaning. So I think for that, I'm going to use, I guess a cleaning sticker would make the most sense. Let me grab one. I think I'll use a sweeping Winston because I don't have a lot of green cleaning our packing stickers, so this will work. And then in the morning, I needed to fill a plan with me, post on Instagram, and fill orders. I think I can fit all that in. For filling orders, I'm going to use this printer sticker from Happy Thea. For the Instagram post, I'm going to use a dot sticker from the kit, and for filming, I think I will actually just put down this little filming day camera sticker, which is from Piper Paper Company. This Instagram post was about the new releases that we released on this day. Okay. Friday's done, so over to Saturday. I already marked the weekend banner. I'll put down the weekend banner, rather. So the whole reason we went to Virginia was to go to this event at Jamestown Settlement called Military Through the Ages, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a huge military timeline. They have everything going back to ancient Greece all the way up to modern day. So it's a super great event for history nerds like myself. I look forward to this every year. This is the second year I've gone. And I also think this year was a bit better because the weather was better. Last year it was pretty cold and a little bit rainy, so just not the best for a huge outdoor event. But this year we could not have asked for better weather. It was sunny, 65, really great. And I did not vlog this trip or this event, but my sister did, and the video is up on her channel, so I will link that in the cards if you want to check it out. And I think for this day, I might have to use a Winston Holding a Heart because it's like the ultimate happy sticker, and I was just really excited to be able to attend this event again.
So, how to mark everything we did on this day? Because <laughs> I don't have any, you know, armor or shield stickers to mark everything. We might have to get a little creative here. Okay, first I think I'm just going to put down a dot sticker to mark that we said hi to some of the reenactors that we knew. And then I think I'm going to mark that we went and watched a bunch of the different weapons demonstrations. Those are always really fun. I mean, it's not every day you get to see people shoot off a cannon, so very exciting. For that, like, how do I even mark that? I mean, I can't remember how I marked this stuff last year. I guess I just used excited stickers. I really don't know, but I do have this cute cat in a cup sticker. It doesn't really match the spread, but it's very adorable, so I think I'm going to use it. I actually got some really good clips of the weapons demos, uh, the cannons, mortars, and howitzer, and the black powder arms as well. So if you want to check that out again, you can check out her video. So weapons demos, and I think the last thing I'm going to mark from MTA is that I got to eat a pine cone because we were talking to uh, some of the reenactors and they had pine cone jam, which I never had before, and they asked if we wanted to try some, so of course I said yes, and then it was literally made from pine cones. This is all in Ashley's video if you want to check it out. So... The guy was like, do you want to eat a pine cone? I was like, yeah, I want to eat a pine cone. I mean, why would I not want to eat a pine cone? I definitely want to be able to say that I ate a pine cone today. So I ate it, and the, the taste is kind of difficult to describe. But as many of you may already know, I'm from North Carolina. And one of the nicknames of North Carolina is the Tar Heel State in relation to the amount of turpentine, pitch, and tar and other materials produced from pine trees. Obviously pine cones come from pine trees. And the pine cone had a faint piney or turpentine -y taste, but not in a bad way. It was also still slightly crunchy, which was kind of weird because... I mean, then you knew you were eating a pine cone and it felt kind of wrong, but I still liked it. I'm really glad I tried it. Alright, so that was the whole day at MTA. I was really excited because I did not get sunburned this year because I put sunscreen on my face, which was the only part of me that was really exposed the whole day. But unfortunately, I did not put sunscreen on the part in my hair, and that got sunburned. So, yeah, I should have, you know, pulled my hair back in a braid or something, so I didn't have a part, but I didn't think about it. So, just for next year, I'll have to remember. Okay, then we got chilies for dinner, which I was really excited about because I love chilies. So I'm going to put that on a half box. and grab another eating sticker. I think I'm gonna use this fork and knife, which is from a shop that no longer exists. I need to make myself chili stickers. And the chilies we went to was really packed, so we had to wait uh, a little kind of long for our food, which didn't really bug me because I didn't have plans or anything. But the girl who was serving us was super nice, and she brought us a piece of cheesecake for free. So that was really nice, and I've never actually had chilies 
cheesecake before, so I got to try that. I'm going to get a cake sticker. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to get a cake sticker to mark the free cheesecake. I don't really get the cheesecake at Chili's because I always get their molten lava cake, which is like the best thing ever. It's so good. Definitely recommend it if you like chocolate. If you're not a chocolate fan, then highly avoid because it's super chocolatey. This, okay, this sticker is from, when I bought it, the shop was called Ohana Story, but I think it has changed now. I will link it down below. And I link all the shops in the order I mentioned them, so even if I don't get the name right, you can find it based on where it is in the video. to play some Mario Kart because we don't get to play that at home since we don't have any type of gaming system. So to mark that, I think I'm going to use this really cute panda and child sticker, which I always use to mark me and Ashley, even though it's like a mom and baby. And at the end of the night, we actually did a movie double feature. So let me get another movie sticker. I think this time I'm going to use a yellow popcorn sticker. There's not a ton of room, so I'm going to put it like down here. So we watched Ratatouille, which is another one of my favorite movies. And we also watched Spider-Man, the original one with Tobey Maguire, which is by far the best. And in my opinion, this film is one of the best superhero movies ever made. Okay, on the 17th, we headed home from Virginia. This was just a short little weekend trip for us. MTA is actually a two-day event, but unfortunately we cannot stay for both days. Maybe someday we can stay both days. But we drove home in the morning, so I'm gonna get another car sticker. I'm also going to grab some more of this road washi tape. Put that down because it was almost a five hour drive for us. So kind of a long chunk of the day. When we got home, I was excited to see that our plants not only had just lived through the days we weren't there, but they had thrived and were really big. So I'm going to definitely have to get another planty sticker for that. We'll have to invest in some gardening, like different gardening stickers, because right now I only have the ones from my own shop. Okay, and then I, or we, I should say, had the very nutritious combination, a uh, nutritious combination of pizza and cake for dinner. So let me grab another pizza sticker.
And at the end of the day, Ashley had a YouTube video that she wanted me to preview for her before she published it. So I'm going to mark that I watched that. I'm probably going to put that on this. No, I'm going to use yellow, I think. Yep. I'll use this little yellow label to finish things off and this YouTube Winston. And that is going to be it for the spread. So let me zoom you out. All right, there we have it. My completed St. Patrick's Day week. And I know at the beginning I pointed out that this was a smaller kit, but I honestly don't even think you can tell, really. Um, maybe this one kind of, because I didn't use any bullet journal sets, but I don't think it looks empty or anything. The washi tapes obviously help a lot. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!